everybody, I'm Elisa. And I'm Kira. And today we wanted to show you a home decor project because polymer clay can be used for so many different things, not just jewelry. And we like to make stuff to add to the house, to give as gifts, and we wanted to show you, um, today we're going to show you a piece of wall art, and next week we'll show you a metal tin box. So there's so many ways you can use our new digital collage sheet, which looks like this. And you can find, you can on, find our on our website at craftylink.com or powerclay.tv.com. But, um, but um, we've added, we've, we've printed added it out with a laser printer into magic transfer, magic transfer paper, paper, and then we and transferred then we it onto polymer, polymer clay. clay. And if you want to see that, see that um, um, we're not going to show you the transfer this time, time, but you can see that on our last couple of our last couple of and where we actually did the transfer. It's so simple. You can go watch that and watch that. So Kira already has it printed and transferred, so she's going to show you a little bit of this home decor project so you can start with your own. Yeah, so the very first thing I did is I started with um, a recycled piece that I got at a recycling center that sells like um, old junk basically that people bring there and you can buy it really cheap. So I had picked up a set of these wooden um, they're veneer sample tags from a contractor or something, and they were on like a keychain. <clears throat> excuse me, and I got all of them for like a dollar for 24 of them, and they make awesome, good-sized backgrounds for a little wall piece. Yeah, they so, have the hole too already, so you don't have to worry about putting a hole in it. Yeah, exactly. So you don't have to drill because it's all ready to hang right there. Cool. So I actually um, took a piece of paper that I had printed with my jelly plate and I glued it on to the wood side, like the back side of the tag. And then down here at the bottom is a little piece from the sheet that has been um, printed on paper in the regular way, just on regular paper, so that you can use it for collaging and making art and stuff. So we, when you get the collage sheet, it's two ways. It's frontward facing and then it's reversed for transferring, which is how this piece was done. So this is a little piece of clay that has the um, Venus on it, and she's already baked and cut to the right size. So, um, Elisa, tell them a little bit about that while I'm going to switch my camera so that you don't get dizzy. Yeah, so actually this is printed backwards. You can see that the, the letters are all backwards, and that's so that when you transfer it, so you would do it backwards if you're using magic transfer paper or some kind of transfer method, you would do it backwards so that when you actually print it, it comes out properly. But you can print it on regular paper, you can print it on magic transfer paper. You know, you can do whatever you want with this collage sheet. It's a digital collage sheet. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek before Kira gets started of what I did with it so far. This is the top of a metal tin, and I'll show you how I did this next week. But I've done um, use the same image, the Venus, off of the sheet, and one of the butterflies. And so you can see that there's so many different things you can do with this sheet. I mean, Kira's going to show you a wall hanging. I'm doing a box. We made jewelry. So, you know, you just it's just a matter of using your imagination and letting that flow and, and finding different ways to use it so that, you know, you have lots of options with just the one sheet. So um, Kira's trying to get focused right now so that she can show you <laughs> so you don't get dizzy here. But um, yeah, she's going to create this really cute wall plaque on a recycled piece, which that's another thing. If You, you could even use like a cereal box or, or something like that to make your background piece. You, you know, anything that you have around the house that, you know, comes in packaging is really good because then you're, you know, keeping it out of the landfill. So we always like to do that as well. Yeah, so sorry about that. It took me a minute because my jerry-rigged setup with my camera. <laughs> but um, okay, so what I'm working with right now is here's the here's the base. So I've got my um, I've got my background, and this is all glued down and mod podged. And I've got this piece, which was just transferred onto a piece of white polymer clay, Primo is what I used. And then before baking it, I did cut out this notch 
so that she would fit right around this um, little quote here. It says, if nothing ever changed, there'd be no butterflies. So she's ready to glue down, basically, except I've got a little more work to do with the transfers. So I had taken one of the, the big butterfly image, and I transferred it, and this polymer clay is raw. So the reason I didn't go ahead and bake these is because I want to fit them around her a little bit. And as you can see, if you just cut it off and stick it there, it's not very pretty. So I'm going to put her back on the tile because I know she's the right size. And I know that I can bake on this ceramic tile. So I'm just going to do a little decorative cutting out of these pieces and kind of stick them back to her and put the whole thing in the oven and bake it again. So you're you going to put the, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I just have a question. You're going to put the wings on top of her instead of behind her. No, I think I'm going to actually place them where I want them, and then I'm going to use my X-Acto blade right now. I see. And, and kind of cut around her so that I have the right amount of wings sticking out gotcha. on both sides. Gotcha. Yeah. You know, Kira and I work so differently, so it's so fun to see how each other would talk something, you know what I mean? Because we're not Yeah, how we figure out our you know so far away from each other. I'm I don't think we've ever been close than three hundred and seventy five closer than three hundred and seventy five miles away from each other living. Kira's in Austin, Texas and I'm in North Florida. So so we've never, you know, had the luxury of working side by side for long periods of time, only when we film. So Yeah. So basically I just pressed those sort of onto the edge of her body to get a to get a line where I could cut on the back so that I would get the wings where I want them. And then I'm just gonna attach them to the sides of her like that. And get rid of the extra. I don't need that. And then I have transferred the word grow onto just a piece of gold. And I'll tell you the colors that I'm using. So we have these Primo sample packs, <clears throat> and they come with a bunch of colors. And I'm using a, I don't even know what this is. Do you know what color this is called? It's, I don't know. It's like a lime. It's not, I, I think it might be cadmium yellow. Oh, OK. It looks like the green <clears throat> color for me. Yeah, it looks sort of greenish in the light, but it's a, I think it's cadmium yellow, and then this is regular gold, and of course the white was for the background of the transfer, because depending on what color you use, your transfer will look different. So if you want the transfer to be um, like true to color, then you would use white. And for the butterfly wings, I, I actually mixed these two colors together, because I didn't want this dark gold, and I definitely didn't want yellow. So this sort of lighter gold is what I got from mixing them together, about half and half. So I decided that I would put the grow sort of across her chest here, because I, I want to hang it in a public area, and she has a little, you know, nudity. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that there to sort of make my point with the butterfly thing and also cover up her nude parts. And then um, here I wanted to frame out a little bit around where these words are. So I'm going to give it just a snake frame and stick it to her. And I'm going to extend this one out a little bit so that after it's baked I can cut it off and just miter this corner and continue down. When she says miter, that's cutting on an angle. If you've ever seen yeah. like a picture frame, how a picture frame is put together, that's a mitered corner. Mm -hmm. So you can bake polymer multiple times. So now this whole assembly here will go back in the oven after I, let's see, I just want to add a little something to these a little texture. So keep your tools around because adding texture, even just a simple line on a rope like this, will really make a difference in your piece. And Elisa taught me that <laughs> long ago. I love texture. I love texture. <laughs> <laughs> and then just for a little more dazzle, 
I have some Pearl X that I'm just going to rub over the top of the frame with my finger just to call out the highlights and give it a little visual variety. Okay, and then just bake it. And then what happens after it comes out of the oven is that I will lay this over this, cut off the extra wherever that is. I don't want to pull this off the tile now to measure it because I'll mess it up. But just cut it off because when your polymer comes straight out of the oven, it's really pliable still and it's really easy to cut with like your blade. So you just would chop it off so that it fits exactly on here. And then just glue it on and you can use any kind of white glue. Um, I'll probably use Weld Bond because that's what I like and I have a big huge bottle of it in my studio. It looks like this. But you could use Sobo, or if Elmer's is all you have, just put a nice liberal coating of Elmer's on the back and lay it on. And then tie a little fiber, and you're done. Very cute. Very cute. Yeah, see, so there's so many things you can do with, you know, if you just use your imagination and have fun with it. There really are. I mean, because, you know, I mean, one little collage she can multiple pieces of art and that's what I, it just uses your imagination and see what comes out of it and and next week once again I'll be showing you how I made this tin top it's just a metal metal tin it has like a round base and, and it's great to put like little gifts and things in and and uh, we just want to give you lots and lots of ideas so that you can run with it but um yeah <laughs> you know here is here I just want to share a little thing about um the Christy Friesen challenge too that's going on oh yes be sure to come and enter that we um we posted a video last week on this month's challenge topic which is this micro caning or mini caning as I talk like to call it um, inspired by one of Christy's techniques in the book Flourish. So you'll want to come and join that, and the easy way to join is just watch the video and see what technique we're doing this month, and go to craftylink.com and upload your photos, and then we will um, pick a random winner at the end of the month. And this month's prize is the Down Under book by Christy, which is a tutorial book full of um, Australian critters, and one of her blue molds, which has like all these funky textures on it for you to mold. Very cool, very cool. So yeah, I mean, yeah, we're not looking for any kind of level of expertise. We just want you to have fun and be inspired. So just upload your photos. Don't worry about being judged. We're it's a non-judgmental community. You know, we're all in this together. So don't don't worry about any of that kind of stuff. So go ahead, upload your photos, and you can win. It's that simple. It's that simple. And yes. Don't make sure, don't forget to make sure to subscribe to our show because that way you'll get every show and you won't miss a thing. And we have and this new thing coming up too. Kira's excited about it. We're both very excited about it. We can't tell you what it is, but if you go to polymerclayadventure.com and you sign up to be invited, you will be one of the first to know about it. It's a mystery, but well, let me tell you, let me tell you, the most awesome thing we've ever done. So you definitely want to get on the list to get an invite. So make sure and do that. Okay, so thanks for joining us this week, and we will see you next time on Polymer Clay TV. Mm -hmm.